it's just basically a tube. It's got a bottom. It has a drawstring at the top. Nice, simple strap. So we're gonna show you how to do that today. You're gonna need one yard of fabric. There are really just three pieces. So there's this long rectangle here, which you just fold in half and sew up the side, and then we'll show you how to turn over the top and make this um, tunnel for the ribbon. There's this piece, which is also a rectangle that you fold in half, fold in half again to make the strap, and then there's one circle. And the circle and this rectangle are really important um, to measure correctly, so full disclosure, I've made one of these before for a friend, and then her yoga mat did not fit in it. Mm -hmm. So yoga mats are not created equal. Right. They are different in thickness. The one that we have in here is just a very standard, pretty thin. Mm -hmm. um, and so we will put the, the measurements for this one on our website. Um, but the yoga, we have graduated to a little bit nicer yoga mats. It's a heavier duty. It's literally heavier. And it is definitely thicker. So this is gonna require a little bit of a bigger bag. And so when we measure this circle for the bottom, we will actually just use our yoga mat. This is pretty loosely rolled today, so just to make sure that it's big enough. Right. And then you give yourself some extra space and then some space to sew it as well for the, the seam allowance. And then um, most yoga mats are the same height, so we can give you pretty general measurements there, but make sure you check um, with your own yoga mat. The first thing we're gonna do is figure out the size of the circle we need for the bottom of the bag. And we are literally just gonna place this bad boy on the paper, give ourselves about a half inch extra, and then another half inch for the seam allowance. So we're gonna make one inch um, marks all around, and then we will grab a tool to make a perfect circle. just under seven inches in diameter. Do you want it? I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's fine. Right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this out. Circle. Sort of perfect. <laughs> so we are cutting out the long rectangle that will be the tube of the yoga mat bag. So we're measuring down 29 inches, marking with pencil. We're using the natural fold in the fabric um, and marking over nine inches. So we will just kind of cut down there. Okay. And then this makes the tube for the yoga mat bag. Which will go with our circles. So we're gonna actually pin this down to make sure that we can cut around it easily. Okay. So do you want some yoga fun facts? I do. Please tell me. Okay. So what do you think the original yoga mats were made out of? Well, they have to be a little sticky so you don't slip. So something sticky but not slippery. So natural grasses. Oh, I was gonna say grasses would be so slippery. Or animal hides. We're the original oh, that. animal hides. Okay, we've got our circle. Okay. Now we're just gonna cut out the strap. So it's gonna be four inches wide by we wrote it down over here, 26 inches long. And what you're gonna end up doing is folding that, kind of folding like this and then folding again. Okay, so what year do you think the modern yoga mat was first invented? Rubber. I think it was in the fifth. No, wait, let's say 80s. What year in the 80s? I'll go with 86. 1982. Oh, that's nice. very good of you. Guess who invented it? You'll never guess. It was a woman, and her name was Angela Farmer. I do wonder what they were doing yoga on in the 70s. Probably like beach towels in California. The first thing we're gonna do is make our strap. So that is the four inches by 26 six inches long piece. And this is really easy. So you are gonna fold into the center. So you might um, fold it in half just to kind of mark the center with your hands. Because this is gonna leave a little bit of a crease. Or iron. You can iron, but who wants to iron? Okay, so I can kind of see where the middle of this is. And then I'm gonna fold in like this. And again, I'm gonna just press it down with my hands and then fold in again like this. Press that down and then fold it all in half. So the only thing showing is the beautiful pink 
right side of the fabric. Okay, so we're gonna pin down this and then we will sew down it. So now that we've sewn up um, the side of our strap, we are going to pin it into the large rectangle that we cut for the tube of the bag. And you want to pin it on the inside. So five inches from the bottom. Okay, so you're going to slip this inside and clo actually close it in. Good. Okay. And then you want to make sure that your strap is not twisted. Mm -hmm. So it's about 17 inches um, from the top of this strap piece to the bottom of the next one. And again, we're going to close it in to the rectangle. So while you have it on the table, we are going to fold down the top edge of the bag. So as you can see on this bag, we have this tunnel that we put a ribbon through. So we're going to make that just by folding under once small, maybe like a quarter inch, and then again about an inch so you have enough room to run a, a um, ribbon. ribbon. And actually on this edge, I'm going to fold this in just also a quarter inch. You're kind of folding both edges in a quarter inch on that corner and then go down an inch. And then once that's done, we will pin this one more time and sew up the long edge. Now we have our channel sewn. We have our strap already sewn in. This is the trickiest part, but it will be fine. <laughs> we have to pin something circular to something else circular. Take the my piece of the round piece and I would start here at the seam and put my first pin there. And then I would actually go across. So rather than just going all the way around, because you might end up with a bunch left over at the end, I'm gonna go across the circle and across the bag and put another pin right there. And you are gonna have some excess on the, the circle. It's just bigger. Um, and that's okay. That's not kind of do some folding and some tucking and I don't know about you, but nobody ever looks at the bottom of my yoga mat bag, right? <laughs> just really needs to do its job. Katie very kindly sewed this circle onto the bottom of the bag. The bag is basically done. We're just going to inside out the bag and we're going to pick out a beautiful ribbon to go through this channel. And that's it. Wow. It's super cute. And this took like 15 minutes. It's a very quick, easy product. Yes. There we go. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Ready, Ready to go. Test. Ready for class about 20 inches for your ribbon. And we are gonna actually use a bodkin, which is kind of like tweezers, but it has this ring on it, so when you push that down, it holds whatever you're, you're working with. So you hold this, push this ring down, and this is gonna make it really easy to string through the channel. Safety pin or a bodkin would be best. We just work it through our tunnel. All right. I'm gonna cinch this baby up and uh, head out to yoga class. All right. Looks good. Looks great. Love it. Good job. We will put all of the details about the measurements and how to make this bag in the description box and link to our blog post, which we'll also describe in more detail with some photos, how to make this bag. Please let us know if you make one. We'd love to see it. And uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're a growing channel, so we'd really appreciate the support. So thanks so much. See you next time.